buildings, the projects, they're, they're seven to eight floors. They're not tall like everywhere else. Right. So Queens is a lot nicer. But when you start going a little deeper, like you're saying, Far Rock, Coney Island, other parts of Brooklyn, they're 20 floors. Now, 20 floors with fucking 16 apartments, let's say six people in, how many people live? There's bound to be bullshit going on. Right. Like Jay said, they call it a project because it's a project. It was a project to have them people live that way. But, yo, you know what it is. I'm on y'all's show. Let's go. We got a special guest from the crate in New York. And he going, I hope somebody checked him at the door since he's from Far Rock. You know what I'm saying? We don't got metal Facts. detectors. But um, we're going to get it going now. Nah, what's Yo, going bro, on? What's going on, man? Yeah, what's Thank going so on? Much. I appreciate y'all having me. Thank you for coming out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Traffic is bananas. Everything is nuts in this world, but we're yeah. going to try to get the people's mind off the bullshit and talk some shit here today. Yo, wait a minute. Somebody's not here today. Who Fuck that? Dre. Right. Fuck Dre. <laughs> I'm here. It's me. It's Cheech. You know what it is. Y'all niggas never see me. You probably hear me behind the camera because I produce this show. Most of y'all ain't know that, but I do. But today, I'm in for Dre. Dre's having a little family situation, but the show must go on. You know how that go? Right. So listen, yo, not even going to hold you. I'm real, real, real honored that I get to sit in on this episode because this is my man. This is my man. This is my man right here. And yo, y'all know I scream big queens like no other. And yeah, no, I was. But wait a minute. Far Rock is Queens or Brooklyn? Nah, that's a fact. <laughs> asking, we the sixth borough, yeah, but we, we Queens what, too. What are y'all? Because like, y'all both, y'all are like nah, in we, between. Yeah, oh, some I mean, niggas, I'm going to tell you, this is the thing. You say Far Rock away. Niggas be like, yo, where you from? They gonna say Far Rockaway. They don't say Queens. They don't 100%. Say Queens. Like when they ask me when I'm from New York, I say Brooklyn. But if you look at the Queens map, we Queens niggas. All right. We Queens. Right. Yeah. But y'all connect, you can get to y'all from from Mill Basin and from, and from Long Island. Long Island. You get it's like mad crazy. And from behind King's Plaza. Yeah, as I said, from Brooklyn, right, right, Mill right. Basin. It's some weird shit going on. I don't to, know. Get, but they, they, that's because they well, made them bridges. Far Rock right is weird, so you know. It would, have, it would have been a dead zone if they didn't create I know people bridges. from Far Rock that never left Far Rock. Nah, it's a fact. I mean... You too. So I, 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 nah, I know people that probably, like, just leave very minimal. Like, they might mm -hmm. leave, like, you Far know. Rock away once every two weeks. What's the excuse? There's a sneaker store. There's a liquor store in the laundromat. Where they got to go? Right, damn, see? That's the shit I was talking no, about with the hood. And you got the beach. Island. Where do you have to go? Yeah. Like, where do y'all niggas really have to go? We don't got enough. It needs right. more. Uh, I love that. I love that. It needs more. It needs a lot more. But so, yo, so so nah. But it needs more though, and that just goes back to our conversation we was having right just now, right? Mm -hmm. They took five hundred million dollars. If y'all want to talk about something, let me just talk about this real quick. Talk about this, it. Right? Yeah, yeah. They took five hundred million dollars and build new housing inside inside of uh, Martin Cornet in uh, what's that Central Martin from the Central. outside it looked beautiful them buildings now, you seen them right right yeah, there the right white there buildings on, right I don't know I don't know what blocks but I've drove past all right cool so they built the housing it was 500 million dollars right mm -hmm. but they put a in that 500 million dollar project they put a library on the corner for 40 million dollars right a library you just got Google bro a library, right? So a, a young kid gets I'm killed. Just saying, no, no, no. A young kid gets killed. Fifteen-year-old kid gets killed on a train, a train. A young fifteen-year-old kid get killed on a, the yeah. A train. They have like a meeting. They like, yo. They talking to the kids. Yo, what do y'all need out here? Like, mm. what are y'all missing? And I'm rec like, center. yo, rec center, bro. You put a forty million dollar library, a library out here. Every project out there has its own community center. So if I don't fuck with you. I'm and not going on I'm that not track. having my kids fucking with y'all either, right? So because we're gonna just keep them in the community center in the hood, right? By so us. Right. So it's every project got their own community center. It's like, nah, we need one big community center that's a central ground for one far center. for far rockaway because the kids are segregated because of the beef that their parents had year for yes. years so going on. Your shit. Right? So it's like when I think about far rockaway. Like, just, you know, just getting on that. It's like, I lived in Hollis growing up first, but I lived in Far Rock for, for 20 years, and they support. Later on in life or early part? When I was 11, I moved to Far Rock away. I never forget. Moving to Far Rock away when I was a kid, I remember my man saying, yo, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yo, bro, that shit ain't no game, son. I got family in Hollis. It's nice over there. Hollis is cool. West Indian, and they Hollis all, is cool. They get a little show, shit and, shake a little something, but. but it's still a community. They love each other. I got extras to come over. I'm barbecuing. 
You want to drink? I Far Rockaway is a beautiful place, but it gets tricky. No, you can't. Like it's like it gets tricky. I, I'm familiar with more Coney Island. There's, I think, like eight Project Coney Island. They all got beef with each other, and if they form together, they'd be unstoppable. It get, it Same thing with Far Rock. Well, you got Hamels, Redfern, uh, Edgeman, Auburn, Forties, Gateway. Yep, and got then blocks, and then you got the got side blocks. blocks with all the little houses. Yeah, you got blocks. And where the niggas get money. I mean, yeah. Uh, allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allegedly. Come on, don't do allegedly. that. Don't do that. Nah. Niggas get money. Shout out to, you know, allegedly. Yeah, 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 allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, so let me ask y'all, right? So, I mean, just you, Ralph. Um, what made you say I need to have Far Rock be screamed out to the, to the world and start to create? Like, real rap. Because, like, at this point, you in ID Mag. Essence Mag, Complex Mag. I mean, the list goes on. Hype Beast, all of the above, everything you could think of. So, like, what's, what made you say, nah, my town needs to be out here like that? I think it was more the other route. We was already talking about, like, a business that we wanted to start. And then the other route was like, yo, I think we should do a clothing store. And I'm like, clothing store? He's like, yeah. And in Far Rock? And yeah, in Far Rock. Because it was like, yo. Let me ask you a question. You're starting. You know you're in Far Rock. Y'all both natives. Has you ever thought... Yo, niggas gonna run up in the spot. We're bugging out. We should not be doing um, this. <laughs> like, what? What is y'all going? What it, y'all it, it, it's, it's real shit. No, no, no. You gotta think that. And you know what happens all the time. It's always somebody you know too. I believe in. I, be, I just believe in energy, though. Like, okay, okay. If I believe in like the energy that you put out there. Sometimes what you get back, and it 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 could have got sticky a couple times in there. But it's just like I'm just like, chill. We got to chill. We wilding right now. All this. You know what I'm saying like. My energy just be like pure. So I guess initially we probably like I remember Chinks, rest his soul, my brother. I remember him saying, like, yo, what are y'all niggas doing? <laughs> y'all niggas all right? Like, what are y'all talking about? Y'all gonna Bro, what are y'all talking about? And then when he started seeing like the vibe, he like, oh nah, this is it. Sometimes you just be in the store just chilling and be dead. Chinks just swing the door open. Yup. What up, boy? Just can't check on you. Sup, man. man. Fuck that. Anything going in here today? Come on, let me crack, crack the register for you. Let me get that. Let me get this. Let me get that. You know what I'm saying? So it was like the energy was just right from the beginning. And I felt like once the energy was right and then things just started happening, it was like, I've had my days. It get nervous. We don't got the store anymore, right? Because we trying to elevate. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know. So we, what year did you, you know what I'm saying? You put the plan together and did it pop off right away or you took shit, some time shit, to develop it? It wasn't no plan. We was like, yo, we, we going to open the store. Like, and that's why... You know, it's harder, I guess, in the long term, right? Because, exactly. Because if you don't plan, you got a plan. I've been through it. Right? I've had a sneaker store. I've had money in other adventures. I just had a gallery. <laughs> sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. Right. But as you know what? You tried. And you set the precedence. You put the flag down first. Right. So, I mean, it's stressful right now, but magical things continuously happen, like, Good yeah. comes to those yeah. who do good, right? Right. They, we've had Kanye West wear the stuff. We've had Cole wear the stuff. Now, I need to know Issa how that Ray. happened. I need to know every one of them stories. I need Kanye. Start with Lisa Ray, though. Yeah. yeah e- Issa Ray? Yeah, yeah, ladies first. Yeah, yeah. Word, 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 word. Ladies first. Yeah, put that on the screen, too, G. Um, Yeah, my son, Rembert, Jason. Just he, i never forget, I was landing in L.A. on, like, a Wednesday. And he was like, yo, we shooting um, Saturday Night Live. I need... You know, a sweatsuit for Issa. And I'm like, bro, I'm, just, I'm in L.A. He's like, figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they be, bro. That's how I be, figure, figure it, it out. out. That's I'm love, like, though. You get it overnight, that shit. I'm like, all right, shit. Just start scrambling. It probably cost more to ship than the suit. Right, probably. I don't even remember, but, the but look is the look. it was like, and Issa's so real, though. You know why? Because, like, you'll write her and she'll just be like, yo, I need, like, I need shit. I need to rock that. Like, I need mm. that. Like, she not one of those, like. Oh, I'm not in my Instagram. Nah, she see you writing. She gonna write back. Yo, what's popping? What's good? Yeah. You know this is my shit. I write this shit all the time. Like, straight like that. It's official. Fire. J. Cole, that's the, that's the dog. Like, nigga. Had him in 40 projects with us. Shooting him. I don't know. He was shooting something. Cole, put that shit out, boy. What are you doing? Um, and that, you know, he just, he just fucked with me. Like, even when he wore the t-shirt. Nigga, yeah, was that, that really that him on, on the, the album bi- cover, right? Was that really him riding bike through the city by himself? Like yes. there was yeah, 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 that's a fact. Oh, Some so be he chilling. humble cool. That's he be good. chilling. Nah, he be chilling. He like he one of them ones. Yo, Scrams, no cap, funny story real quick. Um, it's about two thousand and seven, right? 
and um, I'm in a barbecue, a graduation barbecue in Hollis. And dead ass, the height of um, his mixtape. I don't even know which one it was, but he was he was he was him in Queens at that moment. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Where's he from? And, North Carolina. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Fayetteville. A, Fayetteville. I'm not. I'm not a J Cole fan. No, no, no. no disrespect, cool. so I don't no, no, know. No, cool, but, but he banged okay. with Queens heavy because he went to St. John's and, he, and, he, and his whole squad basically is Queens heads. And um, yo, he was dead ass mobbing, drinking, chilling in the backyard in Hollis, rag. That's official. You know what I mean? And nah, you can son. still catch that to this day. Son of cool niggas, good day. bro. I'm cool telling nigga. you, I, bro. I respect. You no, know, we be around the industry. No security. Right. Just the be around industry niggas. That's a real one. Like it's a solid. Like. That nigga that you seen get the look with the playing his music in the lobby, like what are you talking about? When Cole was listening oh, yeah. to the oh, kids' okay, music okay. in the lobby, it was like, nah, play some more shit. Nah, okay, okay, play okay. more shit. Yeah, nah. Why you shoot a video for that? What you waiting for? Nah, yo, you connect with him like in the lobby, in the project lobby for two hours, going to people cribs, chilling. Like that's yeah, the way take, it should be, bro. Like that's how it was when I growing up in Spanish Harlem. I would be in my neighbor's house. I would get in trouble by somebody I didn't even know. Bringing you to your mother. It was community. It was love. They ain't that no more. So I think, the f- I, think, I think the um I think what I like to see is um with Rel anyway, he got a community rallying behind him to see him win. You know what I mean? And um like I think that's why he gets these looks and why why and and also his energy. If you know Rel, Rel is a real one. You know I mean, he's, he's genuine. He dead ass with his shit, and he put on for his town. So everybody want to see him win. You know what I mean? Because I, I remember watching that Kanye West shit, and I was like, nah, this is crazy. How the fuck did this happen? And I still don't know how it happened, but it still didn't matter because it was like, yo, queen It, it shit. happened. You know what I mean? Because we see queen shit in a different way, and no disrespect to any queens brands out here winning, but queens is one of the biggest boroughs, right? And it's like, we know that the borough also speaks like 135 languages. We know what it is. It's the world's borough, no pun intended. And, um... And no shots to these brands, but we already know the brands that are on the forefront of some of these uh, of, of Queens. You know what I mean? Down to even Fubu. I'm talking all the way back. I'm not talking the generals right now. Shout out I'm to Keith. I'm talking about. I'm talking back. Shout out to Fubu. Yeah, you niggas is fucking ill, ill nigga. Everything, real shit. Niggas is ill. C- call my nigga. Right. You know what I mean? Niggas is ill. But this community, at the end of the day, you know yeah. what I mean? But brothers, movement. Yeah, and the movement. Niggas is ill, Ill. Son. Ill. You know what I mean? Right. And moving forward, what they doing right now, I mean, what we what's, what I see right now is like, you know, Queens is getting their story told through fashion in a different way, and Rel tells our side differently, because Rel come from our side of Queens, a different side of Queens, a black side of Queens, I'm gonna just say it. You know what I'm saying? And it's different. It's, it's, no, it's definitely and, different. And, and, it's, and, it's, and, and if, you, if you get anything from the crate, it's all quality clothing. Dead ass, you know what I'm saying? Like so I that got makes dead it, ass. That though. makes it even better because if you show love to your man on the strength, you don't care about the quality. But if they, you're gonna show love and his quality, you're like, I'm not gonna right. go anywhere else. Bro, you can't understand. Cheech kind of knows. knows. I'm not. I'm not too versed, you know. Yeah. But yeah. I, you know, I've seen it around. So okay. the vibe I'm getting from this conversation is like what Vinny Styles is to me. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Yes, my man. That's a fact. Yes. That's a fact, bro. You know what I'm saying? You I walk in Vinny Live and every, I mean, Vinny Live, Vinny Styles, and it's, everybody comes to shake your hand. Right, right, right. They don't it's even love. press you to buy anything. It's love. So that's why you want to spend. Like, I go in there and I've bought shit. Dumb, dumb the door, I just too. want to say what's up and I'll buy shit just because. The love is the right. The comfortability, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, so that's another thing, right? It's like, so for the hood, it's like, they know what's up with us, right? But when you go do something in the city now and you meet somebody that never met you and you're like, yo, what's good? You look them in the eye and you're that's like, yo, that's you know the main that, thing that to do. Love, it's like, bro, it wouldn't matter if I had a, a dollar or if I had a billion dollars. It's like, that's for right. somebody to come and sh- just show you some type of love. The saying is real. You know, some of, those stores, real. some of those stores out there that is like a lot more pop. Bro, I know people who like mm-hmm. have encounters and been, and it's like, it don't feel like special to buy the product. And it's like, for me, it's like, I'd be like, the clothes is just, a piece, a piece of what we could do. Like I spin, a DJ. Right. I run. Like that shit is just, just a piece of who we are. So it's like, yo, you we get humble with the run shit though, bro. Nah, I for run sure. And just moved over this. Right thing. now we gonna get back to that. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. We gonna get back to that. But now running is. It's like it's dope. When somebody came into that gallery and showed you some love, or when somebody came into that sneaker store, showed you some love, you like, damn, son. 
I appreciate it. I had you, more like, conversation with people walking by, talk to just coming in than people that came to spend money. Right. Right. And then that transcended into another, I might not have it, but you made me feel comfortable, I'ma call my homies that spend money. Correct. That's how it always is. That's why whenever I, find, I go to a store, I gravitate to somebody, I hate to say it, black or Spanish. And we get cool, and then I'll meet everybody in the store. Right, 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 right. After then, the fact. It's, it, yeah. That's foul. You know, and then I got a relationship with everybody, and it started because I was comfortable seeing somebody who looked like me, who right. walked like me, right, right, right. who wore his pants like me. Right, right. Nobody wears the sneakers like you. You don't talk shit, you fucking poop hut. For what, bro? I don't run, bro. <laughs> That's one nigga. I don't run. I bro. run, nigga. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm talking about. No, he not, he not moving. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if we, like I, I was shit. running, I was on my jogging shit too. I, yeah. got, I got hurt my shit walking. I twisted my ankle walking. Yeah. That's crazy. I was doing four miles a day at fucking two eighty, bro. And then I twisted my shit. It's never been the same. Yo, talk about Don't the run club you got. Um. That's what I was going to say. Nigga, yeah. come fuck with me. All right, so let's talk. Because they've been trying to recruit me. The fat niggas from uptown. Oh, Shout heck, out to heck, heck heck them. Good, heck is great people. Right, guys. so I had met Josh. Josh right? is the, um, I met the photographer. Right, I met good Josh. Peoples. And then the homie just connected, like, I guess a dot. Yeah, yeah. heck, re reach out. Heck, we, heck is great people. Up. I'm supposed to go with them. Mike Sace and them. Yeah, um, yeah. What, 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 what does heck have? Like, what's the difference? In a root, root like, crew. He got the root crew. W R U. We run uh, uptown, but heck, and and one of my man's Tyrone, all them, they're big guys like me, and they run with they this shit. They don't give a sport? fuck. They yeah. like me. He you ran do a marathon. Yes. He did. Pa get he, the he fuck did, out of here. Yeah. And he's bigger than me. Yeah. No do a marathon. Yes. He, yes. He don't get. I mean, he don't break records, but he does it. No, no, no. I don't. I, I, That's the most doing important thing. Is, is, is all you know that how is. hard it is? It's, it's not even physical. The mental running. You know what it is? It's the mental and it's the learning how to breathe. I'm still learning how to breathe. That's tough. If you know how to breathe. It's not that, it's not that the crazy. The moment you lose that, like, because my, my, shout out to Purcell. That's mm -hmm. my dog, right? And that nigga Purcell was like, one time I was running, and I, like, he was like, take your headphones out. And he was like, yeah, they tell me don't listen to music. And he's like, yo, listen to yourself. You're struggling. You just, two inhales in. Shit, open your lung right back up. Yeah, they tell me don't, it's not good to roll. Hold, hold it, though. Don't be sniffing no coke or nothing. Nah, that shit ain't working. Don't be doing I'm sniffing that. Sniffing no COVID uh, either. Uh, yeah. And hey, we gonna run the episode. No, nah, I'm doing. Yeah. Yo, I'm, 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 I like running. Like I would wake up and if I didn't run, my legs would start shaking. I would feel away if I didn't run. I ain't gonna lie. It ran in a couple of days. I was just telling them, but yeah. that run is high it's as like, real. I got once you get in the groove, man. I do. I, I, I really, I, cause my girl, she ran um, she ran the, the marathon last year. And she's training right now for Chicago. Shout out to wifey and, and New York. Yeah, shout out to wifey. And like I'm 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 watching the train, but then I'm like, yo, this nigga Rail going through this shit. But he's been doing this shit since like February in the brick hole. Like watching this shit. And he keeps going every fucking Now week. running is a running is a whole nother animal. I'ma get back into it. I owe that to myself. Yeah, I'm with it, boy. I told you. Just come fuck with me. Even down to the stretching. Sometimes it it, it it get down to all of that, like how you're stretching your body. What that, are you? What are you running? Uh, Nikes. Man. What brand? Uh, yeah, Nikes. Talk your shit. Nikes, but you see the, the thing. I don't want to like give them too much, you know. Yeah, man, yeah. Just no. in case. But <laughs> just in case somebody else want to fuck with me, but I fuck with the Nike investment. Yo, if you so. had a wish list, you know what I mean, of, of of shoe brands to do do a collab with, what, what would what would be the crate stamp of approval? You talking about running? Yeah, running. Like, running like fashion. functionality, real rap. Dead ass, not not no style, not no none of that shit. I'm talking. I want this because this is the one to run in. I would do Nike, maybe Nike first. Really? Okay. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm running. A that Nike. don't seem too convincing. No, no, no. I'm running Nike Invincible. Have you ran okay. in a pair of Sockenies? Never. They got the endorphin pros. I've ran. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm privy to a lot of Nike stuff. I've ran in them. Nothing was as good as that Sockety. Yeah, not, yeah. right? not because I'm nah. blessed with them too. What size you at? Nah. Nah. All right, say less. You gonna see Look, what's up. the Nike Invincibles are fucking incredible. You you had those? No. You know what? I, I really like running. You know, we gonna have to put the the, the, the Pegasus. I like running the Pegasus. Here. The new ones? The older ones. I, we ran in the Pegasus in Brooklyn. I have yeah. flat feet. I don't know what kind of feet I have. 
I be man. Oh, oh, Jordan, nigga, Jordan, Rel be on some oh, slave Force running shit. Huh? Rel at Tubman. Air Force One's comfortable for you? Yeah. So you have flat feet. Okay. Same thing with me. Like uh-huh. Jordan ones, Air Force ones, I could wear those shits all day. Yeah. My feet warm because we got flat feet. So, yeah. So I run with in the Invincibles. I got a couple of homies that run in Adidas. Um, I heard Hoka is the one though. That's what they keep saying. My man, my that I have. You ain't do Hoka it. yet? I ain't do them. Me yet. neither. Bro. Wow, my, yo, my I'm stuck on it. She, I'm stuck on it. Invincibles she's just, is like she's a, just a regular mom. A nice when you run it, it's a nice bounce like on on your feet on your joints. And like. too much bounce ain't it either? Because right. then he's just that's what I'm saying. Like so that shit. Much, yeah. That shit, is, bro. They hurt. My homegirl hit me the other day like, "Yo, you need some new sneakers?" I'm like, "Yeah." What? Nike. Send me some Nike Invincibles. I'll take those. Like, I fuck with them shits. Shout out to all the friends at Nike. I don't have no friends at Nike, but shout out to y'all. If y'all shout out be to my all friend, my niggas at Nike. You know y'all want to be my friend, you can send me anything you my want. Peop, my, my good friend at Nike sent me these. This is the only shoe I actually asked for. The chlorophyll? Yes. That's in my top five. Which one? That this. right there. Those are right your top five sneaker ever? Yes, sir. I like I like it, it's, I like it's 90 my, brand silhouettes, bro. We it, grew up in a different era. We don't have to go through this, bro. Well, how you don't have to go. Where are you? You 30? Oh, you a baby? Yeah, well, baby. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm only y'all. What you? 42. I'm 46 this year, bro. And you? I'm 42, bro. Yeah, yeah, not, was, yo, you got a wild bro. photo. So, yo, listen, you not, not down the block. Know, he was born in the retro era. <laughs> you, yeah, bro, you was born in the retro era. I'm born '87. Hold but on. You was wearing it when you got into it. You was rocking I, I, retro. I got you was before he was born, original. bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, what's your top five? What's your top five, bro? I thought he's R.A. <laughs> um, bro, be stressed out. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's just stress. What's your top five, bro? Yeah, I'm stressed. I of couldn't all get time. Your top five sneakers of all time. No colorways, just silhouettes. You ain't got to get into colorways. Those first. These are old ones, by the way. Yeah, you know, that's what I do. I do the old ones. I only got old ones, 2013 and bands. Era. And bands. How long? The bands? I got oh, the bands. It was X. X. I was there when they dropped them. I. And I got 1994 um, Chicago's. Okay, so you get, all right, so Jordan 1 is your Jordan 1. Jordan 1, those now two two. count as one because it's the same one. That's one, that's right. one. I'm going to take the, the fours next. Good. All right, go ahead. That's, I'm going to go with threes. Okay. Uh-huh. Got mad Jordans in your life. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to go, the total is the... T- the so tar- phone posits? Nah, 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 nah. The joints that just came out that got the reflective joint on it like this. Nine eight. They came out nine eight. Come on, the, ta- oh, the TLs. The, the TL, the tunes. The TLs. The tunes. Yes. No, no, tune no, is different the than the TL. Oh, the, the tunes. No, he's talking about the tunes. He's talking about the tunes that look like this, right? Yeah. Cause these are the Skepta joints, right? I'm not sure. Hold on. In that colorway. Let me see. No, that's two different shoes. The, yeah, the first yeah, one nah, or the nah, second nah, one? Not, not those. The, the one I just showed you, that one. Oh, because the one, this one, uh, this one. that one's a tune. That's what teacher was talking the about. The tune, the tune. Yeah, I know he's talking about yeah. the original. The, the color way oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's, that's, that's three. four. That's four? Three is four. One. All right, four. And then I got, I got to go pennies. Which, Which penny? Though? The foams. The blue one? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's the blue ones. See, that's a good, that's yeah. top ten. But you that's see, top five. That's top five right here. That's my top five. All right. What's your shit? What's your top fives, man? Jordan fours. Mm-hmm. Boat Jacksons. Okay. Tech Challengers. Air Force Ones. What's that? Shit, okay. That's four That's or four five. Right there. Wow. One more. Damn, Air I Force like Ones. I like the. Shit. You got yours, bro. You got yours off. You got to think like about this. I like Barclays, the, the, the Total Force Barclays. There's so much shoes, bro. Total. Right. So Air Force my one. top five goes as, as such Jordan Ones, Air Force Ones. Trainer ones, 95 Air Maxes. That's, and that's a tough one to leave out, too. Wow. And yeah, y'all niggas is wailing. I know yeah. mine. I should have solid, bro. All right, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. This one is, is, is CB34s. Oh, Which one, C- though? The ones with the silver. Get big ass out here, Chris. The, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? See, I Mr. Like Weber. Before that. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, my fault. Sorry, Charles Barkley. Sh- no, see, you said Chris Weber. Uh, I said CB34s. That's okay, one. which ones? Which ones? The one with the silver dots. He said well, the one with the neoprene. The okay, one, okay, yeah. okay. So, yeah, neoprene. I like the black with the purple dots. The black, black, white, purple. But well, whatever. Orange. All blacks with the silvers, the all blacks. That's a comfortable shoe, too. The white and blacks. Come on, B. That's it. Yeah, but And, that's- I, and I'm going to be honest with you, and coming in on a humble, humble six man off the bench, dunk highs. 
No, nah, I'm taking the Air Force Ones. They should have been close up top, but that's your fault, bro. It don't even matter. My shoot that's coming out, <laughs> the young boy shit. Look, yeah. don't, don't even worry about it. My photo shoot that I just did, everybody got on fresh white Air Force Ones. So you already know what my mind be thinking when I be shooting these. I ain't think red and black. I ain't think threes. Nah, I don't. White is simple. It goes with everything. Yo, it is. I literally create the clothes to go with everything, but they go with white up. White goes with everything. everything. You could dress it up, yeah. dress it down, anything. And Tim's too, though. And I'm gonna be the honest. Week, the week, the week Tim's again, bro. I'm sorry. Wow. Those shits hurt. They're heavy. I'm, <laughs> that nigga built age, for comfort now. I just I, exactly. <laughs> and, I, I, and I just I'm gave away like there. 20 pairs. I had a yeah. great Timberland Connect. I'm not putting yeah, them shits on. They're too heavy. They too. Shits. Like I won't even wear Avrex no more. You know how heavy that shit is, bro. Fuck that, bro. <laughs> Comfortability. That's why hey, I yo, we in built for com- When you get in your 40s, man, you get built for comfort. I'm not going to hold fuck you. That. Come fuck with me on this side of the world and Word. get some clocks on your feet. You know what I mean? I got like, a pair. I, I, I only got you one. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a Wally Don. You know but I don't mean? like the way the bottom turns like like the eraser when you use it you once and it get dirty. You got to treat it like yeah. an Air Force One. So that's the Wally I wore yeah. once. This shit is brand new, but the bottom got a little. You got to treat it like an Air Force One. My pops. My pops. He bought all of them though, like every city. Like I like clocks. the desert, the desert boot. I like with the yeah, split, yeah, in the split in the middle. In the I like that. Remember, had them in the shoe. Yeah, yeah. I had them with the black joints. So on. yo, I want all these pictures so we can reference it. You know what I mean? So yeah, I can show hell yeah. I want to show the audience because those who's listening to this, um, to this on audio, yo, go over to the YouTube and check that out. But listen, but wait, wait, wait. We didn't even ask G his top five. We didn't know. That's why I want to hear. We don't have nothing but trainers. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing but trainers, bro. Yo, loosen up. You look mad stiff, bro. I'm homo. I, I thought he was going to say, homo. yo, I thought he was going to say yeah. I'm homo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what hey, I thought you, yo, you were going to say. You, oh, that's right. Damn, it was your sweet yeah, 16, bro. Brother, yo, how would you turn? 37. Damn, 37, 37, 30, 21, 90. That's 111 birthday punches. <laughs> <laughs> Is it up out? Yo, what's your top five, G? Because, you know, people, yeah, they ain't going to see it, but they're yeah, going to hear it. What's your top five? Just say it loud enough. 95s, any fucking EWs, and that's it. That's the last one of the five. Damn. No Air Max 1s? Hmm? That pair is nice, too. The power, any of the power, I don't know what I mean, bro. I always fucking take them. Like, the old green ones, the green powers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fire, so you're a trainer, dude. I'm on the spot as well when I leave. You're gonna have more. Yeah, yeah. Nah, fuck, I said that. Nah, fuck that. I, yo, but you wear Air Force Ones. Yeah. But whatever. But this one way or another fuck anything. Cause that's cause you're getting money. No, no, no. It's nah. not It's cause them shits ain't fucking leather. Nah, they're not. Nah. Yo, with the laces. The expensive the laces ones are. If you need laces, any color, hit me. I got bags of shoelaces. I got bags right. of shoelaces. He has everything. He has everything. So yo, listen, hold on. Two things that I like about two things about these two niggas right here that, that a lot of people wouldn't know. One, their authenticity in, to their neighborhood. You know what I mean? These these are definitions of product and environment, but in the positive way, in my opinion. You yeah, know I what I mean? I'm giving you that shit is crazy. Shit. The, the, yo, I grew up in Spanish Hall, right? Then I moved to Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, during all that race shit. Then after high school, I moved to the projects. Then I used to hang out in Coney Island. Then I used to hang out in Sunset Park. That shit was crazy, bro. Man. But that that but with all of that, with with crazy. With all of that, all that comes with all that. What came with all that is wild culture to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, definitely. Because and we, the way we dress, right, yeah, right, it right. transpires. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like, even like Queens, like I'm Brooklyn and Harlem. I would never wear blue jean jacket with black. Blue and black ain't it for me. But that's something that you see often in Queens. Queens, B. We got Yo, a different style. I put a damn jacket on for anything. Yeah, yes, sir. D- and these niggas uptown is the niggas that be having their laces loose. The shit that uh, uh, Me, yeah. che- Cheech was just talking about. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, I like doing. my jean jacket. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, Run DMC. I, yeah, right? Shout out to Run DMC. We got some L shit coming up soon. That shit going to be fire. Ooh. But um, Big Hollis energy. Hell yeah. Right? So like I said, growing up at Hollis, you get your, your, your style little... People that you see growing up, like I've seen LL growing up, I've seen Jam Master J growing up, I've seen Stack growing up. When I first seen Stack, first time I ever seen Stack, well, nah, not the first time, the last time, I apologize. Last time I seen Stack, he had on the True Religion jean suit, and he was walking like towards the car wash, and I was just like, I was on my way to get my taxes, and I was like, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go get that jean suit. Like, right, you know, he got he, that tax money, you know he's gone. You know who used to dress him, right? Who? Jacob. 
From Vinny's. From nah, Vinny's. no. Yeah. They used to cop shit from, yeah. So let me ask you something, because I just saw the, 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 the teaser for your new collection dropping soon, Rel. And like, I saw the, I saw like the, I want to say the 95, 96 Lex Coupe in there, SC 400. If you know what it is, you know what it is. Right. You know what I mean? Like, for me, what inspired me to this day, because I still dress like I'm stuck in the 90s. I don't care. Right, right. Fuck y'all. You know what I mean? Um, but it inspired me with the hustlers on my block. And I remember, the, I remember specifically, you know what I mean? One of the one of the big dogs on my block had that same car, but a navy blue peanut butter inside. It was crazy. When I seen it, I said, "Ooh!" But I saw the fits around it. I saw your I saw your collection around it, and I said, "Yo, this is a man that pays attention to our world, pays attention to our community, and speaks towards us the right way." You know what I mean? And like, I love that. And like, what goes into your collections? Because it takes you forever. To put out a collection, but well, that's my personal gripe. But what what what, what does it what does it take? You know what I mean? Like your your research and development. For those who don't know, that's R and D. So screen screen screen. You Yo, know, I you know don't. you know you know what takes me long capital. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. so, you know when you're trying to build something at the level that I'm trying to build, it's, you can clearly see it though. Like mm-hmm. in my shooting, in the way I pay attention to detail, product, you can see that I'm not doing. Some regular shit. I'm but trying. Also, you don't you don't want to waste time or money. Right. So you want to get it right. I right. want to do something that looks Cause, good. Cause like you can push shit out every day as a creative. You could, but it's not. You don't believe in it a hundred percent. Right. So it's like, what the fuck so are I we doing? That. It's like, I understand the time. Yeah. Process. Like it's like, nah. You got to make sure that that shit is like all right. It's so what's move. the inspiration behind this new collection? Um, just needing a break. <laughs> So I took a little second and I just like regrouped and I was like, yo, you know, people love the windbreak and stuff. And I, was, I tried some new Terry Cloth shit, as you know, we spoke about a minute ago. And I was just really like, yo, this shit ain't easy, but I'm going to just keep going. You get what I'm saying? Like, none of this shit is easy. I don't care. And it's just two of you too, no? Yeah, correct. And then we got some, we got some um, interns? Empl- em- employees. We got but like real employees. I got interns too. Yeah. If you need interns, I can Hell connect yeah, you somewhere. Hell yeah. Hell Young yeah. Young kids that, that want to learn everything. Hell yeah. I'm interested. Dope. Definitely. Um, and yo, it's just not easy. So I don't, my inspiration for it is just, I definitely wanted to step outside of that like total hood, like give you a little bit of the hood, but it's like elevated. Like let's figure out and shout out to the homie who, like, I've been talking to for a little minute, and he was, like, the one who kind of, like, was like, yo, listen, I like the way you shoot it. You could definitely go for the grungy, but figure out how to just elevate it just a little bit more so that when they, they see it, it's like, okay, I see where you're trying to go with it. It's like, now, when you look at that, you like, all right, nigga, I have five different cop cars approach us on the broadwalk about how did I get that car on the broadwalk and why is it on the broadwalk and who told me and... And I just, every single one of them had to pull out a permit and be like, they're like, no, we've never seen this. We've never seen a car on the road. But because I'm cool with some of the people who's in Far Rockaway and I do some of the right things, they gonna make them calls for me. Reached out to Parks Department and was like, yo, he wanna do a commercial situation, video. No problem. Just tell him to fill out the permit and he's good. He's good to go. You that's see, amazing. that's the community again you know rallying like, around him. That's, exactly. that's what I try so, to tell you. The community always, fuck with him, bro. Right? So back so it just go back to why I wanna do more for Far Rockaway. Like I yeah, I wanna do something for Hollis too, because I grew up in Hollis, but I I'm out I've watched the struck like when I could really understand life, I think when I started to learn how to understand life was maybe like fourteen years old. Like because mm-hmm. you know everything before that is just like we just kinda having fun. Yeah, you you and your adolescence. Man. You know what I'm saying? My mom's drop might drop me to school today, blah blah blah. Yeah, you know what it is? Now nah, fourteen is puberty. Now you chasing the women, so you gotta figure it out. You right, gotta so get you, the money. So you but you watching though, you like Ain't shit going on out here. Like, <laughs> ain't nothing going on. Like, it's some sneaker stores, a pizza shop. Oh, we, this shit needs something. And like. there's no video games in the pizza shop no more. Right. You need a vibe. Time. It ain't no vibe. It ain't nowhere where you could be like, after school, they got they made YMCA. They made YMCA seem like it was something for the, the community, and you got to pay to get in. It's not. So that's not for nah, the community. Not, mm. So for me, it's and like. And there's no more rec centers, bro. Yo, we need a big rec. Yo. Rec center. I want to be a billionaire. I want to be a billionaire. Yeah, wanna, but tell them why you want to be a billionaire. I want to be a billionaire. I understand it, but I want you to I tell them. I already know I, that. I want to be a billionaire to be able to 
say, you know what? Here's two hundred million dollars. We're making a community center out here for all those projects. Every last one of those projects is free. Every project, DOE, regular DOE, center. DOE, look what I put here for these kids: pool, swimming, the whole shit, everything, gym, basketball courts, whatever they want to do. We fighting right now for the Teen Creek kids. I think they was fighting for a minute to get them a beacon. Why we? Why we gotta fight to get a gym for the kids to want to become better basketball players, recreational stuff? No, they come here, they do their homework. It's free. DOE, let me get the money. So I, I don't want to be a billionaire just to, like, stun on niggas. Yeah, niggas want to live a nice life. I don't want my mother complaining about none of her bills. And I want her to be able to do whatever she wants for the rest of her life. That's the same thing with my pops. But I want to be able to change people's lives that I really fuck with. And I want to be able to put some ill shit in the community that when I'm gone 50 years from now, that shit is still running and it's serving the community and got things back fucking neutralized. But you know what also... Every other neighborhood had somebody. Who Far Rock had? Yeah, they took everybody. And it, it sucks, but they took their own. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to... I'm going to do that too. Yeah, I don't, you know, you know what I'm saying? saying? Y'all had Father MC. Stack didn't, you know, live to his potential. Chinks didn't live to his potential. It's a curse. Scary. It so, is. so, so, in thinking that, mm -hmm. you like... Don't want to keep a star here. Like, you start feeling like that. Like, I love Far Rockaway. Like, I love that shit, bro. Like, I, that's my shit. It's my shit. Like, that's, that's why I'm, I'm from Hollis. I'm from Far Rock. Like, I'm from, that's where I rest my head. I was chilling in Brooklyn for a long time. I'm from there. But it's just like, yo, I want to grow. I want the only no, you way. You want Far Rock to grow, not you. Right. To grow. So, you, Far you Rock took America. The, you, took the word, you took the words out of my mouth. I, the only. And wait, the, wait. Shout out. Rest in peace. Superb. Good Facts. Tool. Shout out my nigga Perv. Pervy Pro, my guy. Right? I want to be able to grow so that I can come back and just make the neighborhood flourish. Do the things for that neighborhood that it deserves. So much dead land on there. See, they making like little paths to run and shit like that. Yo, give me that. Give me this property. New York State, give me that property. Let me put a nice facility on here for these kids and... Let's fucking neutralize back these neighbors where all the kids from the entire Far Rockaway, when they hear about it from a landslide, like all the kids from Far Rockaway go to this place. But you know That's what's what also good about that is familiarity, familiar, whatever. Familiar, familiarity, I can't pronounce it, whatever. It's like a kid from Hammers, a kid from Edgemere. They might have a beef, but if they see each other and they play ball with each other, they're less likely to kill each other. They 100%. might talk shit. Let's shoot the film. They're not going to come back and kill him because they know him at the end of the day. Yeah. So well, that's that niggas on my team. I can't kill my son. He played yeah. ball with me. Oh, he's my man's man. Yeah. So that's kind of like what Dame Dash did too. He had all the fathers. What's the park across the street from Washington Heights? Across, there's a little park over oh, there. Oh, shit. He had oh. all the... I know you're talking about. He had all his friends, all his peers bring their kids. We're going to have a cookout. And our kids are going to meet your kids. Your kids going to meet his kids. And you know, there's, there'll be less likely a shooting if there's some fam familiar, what the familiarity. Familiar, yeah. Familiarity. I know what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? He's tongue tied now. That, that, that's what we need. Because these kids, they like this. They go in the store on the phone. Only lifting their heads to go in the building. That's it. They don't say what's up to nobody. It's crazy. And the ones that do do that, they're in some gang shit. No disrespect to gang shit. It's a family, but you need to, you know, you got to move a little better, bro. Yo, Rel, so you got your um you got your pop up happening soon, right? Yeah, Saturday. Oh, this, so it, it's, Saturday? it's it's when this episode yeah. is perfect. Yeah. So it's, it's right now, actually, technically. Yeah, we, so if you wanna pull up, up, come pull up. But 40, wait, tell them what 48 Lelo. You know what I'm saying? L E S from eleven to seven. How many days? Uh the first and the second. See what I'm saying? Perfect, perfect. You're trying to look good for the fourth of July, you know what I'm saying? I got that shit for you. Pause. That's right. a fact. You, you got If you mention mention Camp Out TV, you pay an additional ten percent. So make sure y'all say our name. <laughs> That's a fact. You know what I mean, get that additional ten percent. You know what I'm saying? Add it onto your bill because you need it. Right. And, and that's gonna go to the kids. We it ain't for us no more, bro. Yeah, not that ass, bro. Like, I tell people it ain't for me no more. Yeah. I, I, I done got everything. Yo, I what they can expect like, at the pop up though? Cause like I need some shit. Some Fuck Terry Cloth, the Terry Cloth shit. Terry Cloth, nigga. Yeah, but yeah. do you make big nigga sizes? Pause. Pause. Hey, yo. yo. No drink. Wow. My bad. Jesus. Right, no drink. No drink. Double X. 
two X. Since I haven't ran, maybe three X or something. It depends on the cut. Yeah, just come check me out. Okay, I'm gonna be there. I might have some shit for you. Um, mm -hmm. but um, Terry, Terry Clough, Clough windbreaker shit. Windbreaker. Wind like these, like these. Yeah, like, right, yeah, like not these. the blacks, not the blacks. Though. I got black. You brought the black back. Yeah. Oh, black is back. Yeah. Oh. Black. You need those. I know you. His, his, his euro these? G's euro ass needs those. Yeah, they calm. They like everyday shit. Like, I don't wear jeans no more, bro. You don't wear jeans? Nah, you don't. Sweats. Sweats. And windbreaker type shit. And sh yeah, and shorts. I'm putting anything against. I'm putting. I'm y'all. Yeah, put my life savings on it. On God, nobody got better sweats than Ralph. And I wear purple label. Disrespect me if you want. I got money. I'm telling you, nobody sweats is better. I'm keeping it a stack. I wear everybody. I've, I I own sweatsuits from every brand you could think of. Tom Brown, Purple Label, Kiff, Ame. Everybody, all of the above, all the usual suspects. It's nothing compared and, to and I'm, and I'm, and I'm telling you. And right I gotta now. and I gotta interrupt him only because Cheech is the type of nigga when I do some shit that he don't like, he be like, "Y'all ain't feeling this." Yeah. Like he's just straightforward. So dead ass. I respect you for that. Thank you so much. Feel me for keep like he gonna tell. Like, I didn't. I didn't made shit that he be like, "Nah, I ain't jacking. I ain't fucking with this." I'm the king of like backhanded compliments, but I do that's that why shit I to move I the fuck, needle for niggas. Bro, bro, we was going at it this morning. This is what we do. Yes, like every day. This nigga, like, yo, you probably still laying down. I'm like, nigga, I had to send him the video. Like, nigga, I am outside. Like, I don't know who you <laughs> he be texting me at 10 30 telling me wake up. I'm like, bro, who do you think I am? Nigga, I run a business, nigga. I yeah, I, I get my little moments where I'll be like on the pause, but nigga, for the most, I'm like, you see, I'm sitting here. I ain't just, I'm, niggas is bothering me about shit. Y'all need pictures, I need this, I need that, I need logos, I need, you right, email yo, Rel, me. You need, you know, Rel, you, Rel, 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 hold on, hold on, real quick, friends, hold on. Rel. I got the for you. Hold on, Please. You from Fall Rock, right? Well, we get that, but you know the side we from. I'm, you know what side I'm from, bro, you know what I mean? Right. Yo, our neighborhood is infamous for getting up whenever they want to get up, bro. So I'm, I, I hit niggas, because I be up. When I, niggas is on they fucking I first yawn, seven, I done did 645, things already like today. Days. I woke up at 11, but I I'm, went to bed at 5. I'm up 6.30 every day. I, okay, see, that's different. I ain't going to lie. The last time I went to bed at 4.45, I was at 9.52. Like, my body just be like, it's too much going on. Like, yeah. You know I'm what I'm saying? Some. Like, I'm missing something. Like, yeah. It's important so, out here. I mean... I mean, yo, bro, we all got our moments where we just need to relax. Like, you know what I'm saying? Instagram makes us feel like you got to be perfect. I need to relax, bro. I need a break. Nobody's nah. perfect. That shit is cap on that's, that's the thing, right? I need a break from it. Everybody need, you got to have phone a phone. No, no, no. You, you it's need It's not hot it. enough. My, my, my calm, if I don't get on the plane, go right to Coney Island and just lay on the beach. Right. It's nice. <laughs> and it hasn't been nice enough. Hey, yo, what's up with right. that scram Gria, bro? Oh, I didn't even get a chance to make it, bro. My mind. I'm going to be July. Scram Gria. So I'm, my version is saying Gria. Chill, don't get, it, don't get I'm it. I'm not going to explain yeah, it. All right, all right. We talk about it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, Tell me later. I need that, though. And yo, check it. Um, Damn, well, this is it's going to air Saturday, but I'm spending somewhere tonight. You coming? Yeah, absolutely. Scram, you coming? Where are right. Some shit called uh, Record Room. Record Room. And LIC. Maybe I'll try to. Yo, it's a vibe. No, matter of fact, I can't. I'm going to get in that other dog tonight. All right. It's going to be a vibe. You getting another show dog? You, no. Show spot. I'm watching the uh, oh, Chiron again. Oh, okay. And plus, I got to get ready for the other situation. You connected the dots. I redid the closet so it looks even crazier. Yo, I ain't going to hold you, bro. Angel has more of a social life than you. It was just, yo. It was just his birthday. Yo, happy belated happy birthday. Happy birthday. Angel, birthday. Man, Angel. It was his birthday. Number one yesterday. dog out here, man. Solid happy Frenchie. Yeah. Happy birthday. I will post a picture we took with the little niggas retarded. I take a picture. You can't say retarded no more. Why not? Oh, we we, we can say the N word mistakenly. We can't say I. I feel I more of a way it. saying that. Retard is what? You're retard. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's yeah. real rap though. Cause cancel like, me, but. Nah, 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 you can't nah, get canceled nah, for it. Nah, I don't cancel a nigga for saying retard. Because sometimes it's, so, it's worth it because bro, it's like, bro, you know yo, what it people be, are doing retarded shit. They I, don't. You know what it is? Complete dumb. You know what it and is? And we're not talking about autistic individuals. I'm talking about certified, stupid, dickhead motherfuckers doing dickhead shit. That's retarded. Everybody's too fucking. Hyper woke. Emotional. Like, shut up. Yeah, go back to sleep with the wokeness. Shut up. Yo, real quick, you know what I mean? Cause like, I'm not even gonna hold you. You know what I mean? Like, I, I stayed, I stayed, I, I came here because I knew he was coming, so I came out here, crated out. You know what I mean? Down to my socks. Don't even disrespect me. 
Crazy. best shots in the game. You know what I'm saying? I really support my son real quick. That's so, a fact. like, I got on the crate. I got on my Jordan 1s 2001. You know what I mean? Um, breads. I got on my crate swishies today. And my um, meanwhile, back in, black, black in Queens. Um, Queensbridge shirt. You can't see the back, but it's fire. I'll put it up on the screen for those who's watching. And if you don't, go f hit the link. I'm, the link is in the bio, so you can go check it out, too. You know what I mean? And, bro, well, I see you outside. Same I got, pants. What you got on? Yeah, I got on this, the Skepta 97s. I really like these. These are just like my real run-around sneakers. I got on some crazy socks also. Somewhere. Some calm. calm. Um, windbreakers, of course. They just perfect go-tos. I love the Rock Nation uh, t-shirts. It's like my favorite t-shirt. And this is Yo, the Stutter, first. send me a pack, bro. Stop and, and, playing and, and with me, bro. And this is the first um, season, fair God. I just thought the raglan sleeves were so cool. I've never seen a jean jacket with the raglan, raglan with the sleeves. Raglan. For those of y'all that can't see what I'm what he talking about, it's the cut. Of, yeah, uh, I, thought, uh, I thought this was so fire. It's the cut of how the yeah. jacket is. You know what I mean? Google what raglan mean and you'll get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I thought It that, just falls thought, off the shoulder. Yeah, no I thought structure. it was smooth. I thought it was a smooth jacket. Feel me? I do this shit. Queen, Queens nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Man. Jean jackets. Yeah, Jean jackets. <laughs> I got on some calm Nike Chlorophylls, okay. Nike shorts. My favorite fresh Hanes white tee. And uh, this is the first time I wore this hat from 96. This is an Orchard Street hat. Lots of, not too many people familiar, but y'all will be getting familiar soon. It's one of my favorite brands. And that's all we got for this episode. I want to thank everybody. Yo, Rel. Like, subscribe. Word. Listening on Spotify, your mother's YouTube channel, everything. Peace. That's a fact.